Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be checking out 10 recipes that are worth memorizing. Learning these recipes will save you time and it'll make your playthroughs more enjoyable because you won't have to interrupt them as much and this is going to help you stay in the flow state when you're playing Valheim, resulting in more fun. One common problem you'll have is you'll be out adventuring and you'll take your iron pickaxe, right? But the iron pickaxe eventually breaks and once it breaks, you can only repair it at a forge. But not just a forge, a level 2 forge. So a recurring problem a lot of players face is they forget to bring the level 2 forge. So here are some basic recipes that are worth memorizing. Of course there is the humble workbench, which is 10 wood. You're going to use this all the time. It's one of the most important recipes to learn, and luckily it's easy. 10 wood. The workbench is so important because you need it to make virtually everything else. So whenever you learn a recipe, you always have to remember to add 10 wood to that recipe because you probably need a workbench to even make that item in the first place. Then we have the forge, which is going to be necessary to repair most of your metal gear. Your pickaxe, your axe, your armor, all of this kind of stuff. So you're going to be using the forge a lot. The forge is a bit more complicated because it's the workbench, plus 10 wood, 6 copper, 4 coal, and 4 stone. Usually, the only thing you really need to remember here is the copper, because as long as you have six copper, you can find everything else no matter where you are. To get the coal, all you have to do is burn some meat, get it, and that way you don't need the sirtling cores and all that fuss with the kiln. Once you've built these, you'll need to be able to use them though, and for that they have to be under shelter. So you'll have to remember usually four roof pieces per item, and that means eight wood in addition to each workbench or forge. And see here, we can do the same thing. We can't use the workbench right now, but if we just add our four roof tiles, then boom, everything's bueno. Unfortunately, things aren't that simple though, because if we go and we try and repair our iron pickaxe, we can see that we can't actually repair it. If you look at the description of each item, you can find something that says repair station level or forge station level or whatever it is. And that'll tell you what level your bench needs to be to repair the item. So this forge can't repair this iron pickaxe because the forge is only level one. And this is a common problem. So you don't just need to memorize the forge recipe, you also need to get one extension. But the one I recommend is just the basic anvils, the bronze anvils, because these are the cheapest out of everything. They're just two bronze and five wood. And because you can often find wood, that means you just need to remember two bronze. So I recommend that you memorize the bronze anvils in addition, which is five wood and two bronze. Because once you have these placed, then you'll be able to repair your iron pickaxe. And also any of your other iron equipment for the most part. The same goes for the workbench. The easiest upgrade to remember is the chopping block. All you'll need is ten flint. And this is going to enable you to be able to repair your upgraded troll hide and also your root armor. So that'll be something you'll need to do. Next, we'll focus on some of the items that you'll make most frequently. These are things you're going to be making all the time. We'll start with the campfire because you won't be able to rest in whatever bed or shelter you make unless your campfire is currently lit and flaming, right? So to make a campfire, you'll need five wood and two stone. You can almost always find this in the environment around you. The yeah, next item you'll be making very frequently is a bed because the bed is your save spot. It's your spawn spot. It's where you go back to if you die. And it's really important you know where that is. You're and good. then the, another simple thing that's really useful is just the chest. And this has the same requirement as the workbench. It's just 10 wood. So if you have a stack of 50 wood, that's enough to make five chests. Another player favorite is portals. Most players make a lot of portals when they play Valheim. One portal costs 10 Great Orphys, 20 fine wood, two Sirtling cores, and it needs to be built near a workbench. However, you're always gonna make them in pairs, right? One of them might already be constructed in your base, but you're not gonna just make one portal. So realistically, you need 20 Great Orphys, 40 fine wood, and four Sirtling cores per pair of portals. And this is... Next, we'll talk about three of the most fun parts of Valheim. The cart, the carve, and the longship. These items play a huge role in transporting goods and exploring and making the game more interesting. If you haven't stuffed a ship full of metal 
and then tried to take it back to your base, I strongly encourage you to. It's quite thrilling. The cart, the carve, and the long ship are all made with different kinds of nails. So the cart is the easiest to memorize, and I strongly encourage you to take 10 bronze nails with you, at least on all of your adventures. You'll often find that your inventory space alone isn't enough, and the boat, the longship, isn't enough. But you can pile resources up into carts and then load them into the boat, and this works really well. So always bring bronze nails with you. It's better to have them than not have them, and 10 or 20 is all you need to remember. And there are going to be times where you die and you need to take the boat's material into a portal. There's all sorts of situations where you're going to need to remember and look at what it takes to make the boat. You're going to be using this. The carve takes 80 bronze nails, or 4 bronze bars, 20 resin, 10 deer hide, and 30 wood. Whereas the long ship takes 100 iron nails, 10 deer hide, 40 wood, and 40 ancient bark. So they're pretty similar, but not exactly the same. The main things to remember for the longship are the iron nails and the ancient bark. The other materials are more common for most players. And the main thing to remember for the carve is the 80 bronze nails. Really, that's the, the ingredient that's a bit more unusual. And that's it for this video, everybody. And if you want to support my work, check out my tutorial all about purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server. This is a great way to play Valheim with your friends. It makes the world more immersive because you can't really predict what other people are going to do on a dedicated server. Thanks for watching, and if you want me to make a tutorial about anything in Valheim, just comment below. I love making Valheim tutorials, it's really fun, and I am happy to help. See you in the next video. Bye!